What to do, y'all? It's your boy Code Hova from Fly Combinator. We're pimping swift. We're going to be talking again about computer properties, but this time with getters and setters. In the previous video, we did, uh, let me, let me stop myself. I just read that, uh, Anthony Bourdain died, committed suicide. I want to give a moment of silence for the dude since this is my platform, right? It's like that dude helped me go traveling vicariously through his experiences. And uh, it's crazy, man. It's crazy. Life is short. Life is fragile. So, I mean, I think the best thing that I could do is right now teach y'all how to do Swift so we could all get the bag. And like I said, this is for the culture. You dig? Uh, in the previous video, we did the computer properties on the getter. So it's like... Um, if I call on this value, it's going to give me some kind of new value that I expect. It's going to do some calculations. It's going to do some uh, joining of values and then spitting that out. But what do we want to do if we want to have a computer property that if we give it an updated value, it's going to update the object, the struct object itself. That's when we use a getter and setter. And... Uh, I thought of a fun way to show you guys. Let's do this. Let's create a new struct and let's call it dope price. Dope prices. All right. So close, open and curl, open and close curly braces. All right. So we're going to have an eighth variable called eighth. We're going to have a quarter and we're also going to have a half. Okay. So let's just start with that and let's call this granddaddy purple GDP equals dope prices and if I look it's been a long time y'all but anyways it's like eight thirty seven dollars I'm looking at a menu online and then halves nowadays are 123 okay and I guess this is for fire fire all right so what we want to do is we have this we have the prices for eights quarters and halves but what if we had a double I mean uh we had a computer property for a zip, a whole zip, y'all. You know, it's a party. So this, the zip will be our computer property. And let's just say get, and we're going to return half times two minus 20. Because, I mean, if you're going to buy a zip, it better be cheaper than two times a half. If that's not the case. That's bad business. So what we're going to do. So this is what we're used to from the previous video. But what is this? So set. With this, we're able to uh, manipulate the store properties on the object itself. So what we could do is we could update the eighth value. We could update the quarter. We could update the half. You could update whatever the hell you want. All right. But I'm just going to show all of them. So when we're in the setter, we're able to access a keyword called new value. And what new value is, it's going to be the double value that you assign to zip. So for an eight, let's say we want to divide it by eight and then add $15 extra. And then for a quarter, we're going to divide it by four plus 10. And for a half, we're going to new value divided by two. Uh, plus five so it's going to make these deals accordingly okay so let me just call out so let me just call out each of these values gdp dot quarter gdp dot half all right so let's run it and these are the initial values we gave it okay so that's why we're seeing 37 73 123 they're the initial values and for to run this get on the zip, if we run that, it's going to be equal to 226. Because 226, how did we get that? It's 123 times 2, which is 246 minus 20. So that's how it ran. Okay. So what, what's going to happen, and remember that this is a variable. That's why we're able to edit this zip value. So let's say that gdp.zip, let me uh, bring it up. So we got gdp.zip. 
and this so if we're dealing with a zip that is currently two hundred twenty six dollars let's say it's a drought let's update this to three three hundred okay and then what we should do is let's print out these values so when we have so look at these values right here I think my video is going to be covering it but when we update the zip price to 300 this is going to run and it's going to be the eighth is going to be updated to 300 divided by 8 plus 15 it's going to be $52.50 when we get $300 divided by 4 that's $75 plus 10 it's 85 right there we go 85 and then we got $300 divided by 2 150 plus 5 it's going to be 155 so anytime you update the zip value the prices of eighths quarters and halves are going to update accordingly so even if you're having like a super sale it's 150 boom these prices are going to go low all right but let's see what's going to happen when we update the zip but then we call the actual zip so we just we just updated our zip price to 150 but right here the zip is still showing up 140 there's a little discrepancy right so how would we go about fixing that this is just this particular case um, you're gonna have getters and setters doing different things and this is a much more complicated example than you would have a getter and setter run on a triangle a getter and setter run on a on a like a rectangle so why is this how can we make this zip show up as 150 and again you could do anything in code, man. So what we could do in this case is we'll just create a, a variable, right? Latest zip. And this is going to be a double. And it's going to be a double. In, <clears throat> it's going to be a double optional. So when it comes to, it's going to say it's missing an argument. And let's just give it a nil. It's not, not important. So when it comes to the getting of a zip let's let's exercise what we learned about optionals and nil coalescing so we're either going to return the latest zip or we're going to return half times 2 minus 20 and to make it e more easily read we could just separate this well wrap it around parentheses so we know that this is just one value itself you dig and when we're gonna set set this object what we could do is latest zip equals new value so when we run this we'll see that zip properly now shoots out 150 if we update this to 400 it's gonna shoot out all these new prices even with our zips properly showing the value we just set it to be. So that is structs, computed properties with the getter and setter. All right, it's your boy Code Hova, Fly Combinator. Let's get it. Get it.